hello friends uh, so i hope you all are doing well so today i am going to start uh, the second video of this high yield traction theory series so the traction tire with tts 1.2 will continue so let's begin so in the first uh, video i have explained about uh, uh, this little bit history of tire how it all started then uh, little bit about uh, tire type on the basis of tire threads all five types i have explained from r1 to uh, r4 then uh, i have explained the tire type on the basis of construction there are two types radial tire radial ply tire and bias ply tire so if you have not watched that video then uh, please uh, stop this video first go back and watch first video then come back and again start this one so today i will start with tire internal construction so this will be same for uh, radial tire as well as bias ply tire okay so for better understanding of you i have uh, put this figure over here so if you take a section of this tire it will look like this okay so this is even though a self explanatory figure i will explain it so uh, this is one more figure over here so if you see here this is the center line of the axle or tire okay so from here the rim starts so this is basically the nominal rim dia from here this point this line to this line okay so this is your nominal rim dia okay then there will be some uh, metal construction over here which we call flange so this will be your flange height and from here your tire rubber uh, material will start rubber construction will start so this area we call it section height of the tire okay so these are very important terms please note it down somewhere just note uh, write make this figure sketch and then note all these important terms so this height is called section height and this width of this section is called section width usually we note it uh, by a small b this section height by a small h okay so uh, this radius is called a static loaded radius loaded radius means you take a tire just come to this figure this is a tire uh, unloaded tire there is no load coming on this tire so here it is uh, point touch point contact with the ground okay this the area is lifted up okay so this is an overall diameter of tire and if you put some load then there will be some deflection in the tire and this whole area will touch the ground so it will be a line contact now or area contact now and due to this deflection this tire diameter now reduce you can see this diameter this tire diameter is lesser than this tire diameter so a static loaded radius will be less than the unloaded radius okay and the difference will be due to tire deflection okay guys so here in this figure also you can see that this is a deflection which we represent with delta so basically if you have to see the overall tire dia then from this point it right from the deflection up to the top point this will be the overall tire diameter just see this pause this video see this figure uh, clearly and just imprint this this fit photograph in your mind okay so that uh, just see it sketch it on the on your copy um, two three times five six times so that it will be uh, imprinted in your subconscious mind and you will uh, you will never have any doubt whatsoever if any question will be asked from uh, this tire construction and the tire size okay so uh, this was the tire construction now uh, you have you might have seen some numerical numbers are being written on the tire so how to identify uh, uh, what is the diameter of tire and what is the radius of tire and what those number signifies so this is called tire designation okay so as i have already explained to you that there are two types of tire radial tire and bias ply so both this radial as well as bias ply tire will have different uh, designation so i will explain it the first designation i will explain for radial tire so this is a radial tire i have highlighted this designation so here you can see it it's written as 18.4 r46 and below it is written 480 slash 80 r46 so r means radial tire okay so this is in different unit and this is different unit this is a standard unit and this is metric unit so what is the meaning of these two so in a standard designation this 18.4 means the tire section width in inches 
so if it is written 18.4 r46 it means this tire section will be 18.4 inches r means radial then this 46 means nominal rim diameter in inches so these two are in inches so this is an important concept please remember it so uh, this this is how radial tire is being designated and below this is the metric metric method means this 480 is uh, tire section width in uh, mm then this 80 is aspect ratio then uh, this r signifies radial and this 46 means rim diameter in inches then what is this aspect ratio so guys if you come here in this previous figure here it is written aspect ratio as section height divided by section width so it is a dimensionless number usually we express it in percentage so, uh, usually it is between it lies between 75 percent to 80 percent depending upon tire to tire and tire manufacturer to tire manufacturer so basically this will be given by tire manufacturer and it is a ratio of this section height divided by this section width and it is an important ratio which you need to remember so remember it that aspect ratio is the ratio of section height divided by section width it could be asked in your exam okay so moving ahead we have seen this radial uh, tire designation now this 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 area you can see over here i am moving my cursor over here uh, this is not uh, clear but uh, something is written over here that is written thing is 155 a8 so this 155 is nothing but load index value and a8 refers the speed at this load index so what is this load index value this number represents the maximum load capacity of tire this is being given by tire manufacturer and this speed symbol a8 an a9 represent the maximum speed at which this 155 or 156 load index is applicable so this uh, one example I will show you uh, after I will explain this bias ply tire. So next designation is bias ply tire. So bias ply is designated like this as for example 18.4 dash 38. So if dash is there then it denotes bias ply. If R is there then that denotes radial ply. Okay. So here this 18.4 again denotes tire section width in inches. Dash denotes bias ply this 38 denotes rim diameter in inches and this ply 10 bracket 10 or 15 whatever it is there this represents the ply rating this is not the actual number of plies i told you that there will be several plies one ply then second ply third ply so this 10 is not uh, the actual number of ply but the rating of ply rating means how much load it can carry okay again you can see the bias ply construction over here like it is crisscrossing each other okay Moving ahead, I told you that I will show you one example of that load index. So this uh, table I have uh, put it here from Goodyear Tire Company. So this is international load index number. So you can see there are three things here. One is load index, then corresponding kg, um, co corresponding weight given in kg as well as in pounds. Okay. So if load index number is 80, it means that the tire can take maximum load of 450 kg. So in previous example we have seen uh, some 150, 160 kg. So if load index number is 160, it means that the tire can take up to 4500 kgs of load. Okay, so this is the significance of this load index number. I hope you don't have any doubt now. Uh, other than this, you have, you might have seen some stars has been made on the tire. So this is uh, a standard representation. If if tire has one star, then it means that it will have maximum inflation pressure of 18 psi. So suppose if you have a tire of 24.5 R32, it means that it, it will have section width of 24.5 inches, rim nominal rim dia of 32 inches and it is a radial tire. Okay, then it will have if one star then it is uh, and 154 and if it is a 3 star then it means that this tire will have maximum inflation pressure of 30, 30 psi and if it is 164 so you can see corresponding to 164 it can take maximum load up to 5000 kg okay and with 5000 kg of load coming on this tire it can uh, have a maximum speed of 25 miles per hour okay so this is the significance of this now we will calculate that we will see the how to calculate tire overall diameter okay this is the most important section of this video so uh, for example i have taken the same radial tire 18.4 r46 which i have shown you uh, in uh, um, last slide so just i told you to remember this video this uh, photograph 
okay so as i told you earlier this 18.4 is in inches this is a section width of tire okay the second the first step will be to calculate section width second stage is nominal rim dia 46 so it is 1168.4 mm then uh, aspect ratio as i told you it will be in the range of 75 to 80 percent so here it is uh, given 80 percent so considering that this section height will become uh, 80 percent of your uh, section width okay so overall tire diameter will be basically this nominal rim dia d plus twice of section height okay this is very simple thing now here you can see there is also deflection then some flange height is there but uh, for your examination purpose you can ignore these two things because they will not give you deflection value as well as they will not give you flange height because flange height will vary from tire manufacturer to tire manufacturer as well as it vary from uh, tire to tire usually it will be flange height will be 10 percent of nominal rim dia so if you are working in a tire company and you want to calculate and if you don't have any data you can take flange height as 10 percent of nominal rim dia then you can increase nominal rim dia by 10 percent that will be your uh, actual rim dia and then you can add twice of h to get overall dia but for gate examination purpose and for your semester examination you can ignore this flange height and this deflection for your uh, tire overall diameter calculation but if in the question paper they have given deflection value and flange height value then you have to add flange height into uh, twice of flange height into your nominal rim dia to get actual rim dia and then this 2h okay so this is how we calculate overall diameter of the tire now uh, this will be same for both bias ply as well as radial tire the method will be same only difference is in radial it will be r in bias it will be dash so in gate 2009 they have asked this question they have given 13.628 tire and which 0.75 aspect ratio and you have to calculate the diameter you see here it is given undeflected tractor as I told you this is there is deflection so this is deflected tire but they will ask you only undeflected tractor so how to calculate it so the given data is section width in inches 13.6 then second step nominal rim dia then third step aspect ratio is given 0.75 so you so with the help of aspect ratio you will calculate your section height so after getting your section height you can calculate your overall diameter which will be nothing but nominal rim dia plus twice of your uh, this section height okay guys so here it comes uh, 1.23 meter so the correct answer of this question will be option c 1.23 meter so this is how we calculate a uh, tire diameter so if you have seen uh, the first video and second video then i uh, hopefully i have covered each and everything related to tire so if you are not working in a tire company then uh, i think it's enough for you <coughs> whatever i have taught you in these two lecture series so i have covered uh, tire type tire construction uh, tire plies uh, tire designation uh, both radial tire as well as bias ply tire then uh, i have covered how to calculate uh, this tire diameter okay for both radial tire as well as bias ply radial tire i have shown you example and the bias ply i have solved this gate question so uh, even uh, after watching these two videos if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section i will uh, more than i will be more than happy to uh, answer your query okay so next videos i will start uh, on basic traction theories so these two videos were dedicated for tires so before going to those traction theory you please watch these two and thank you for watching it recently uh, please like and subscribe this channel for more video and please spread the word Thank you very much guys for watching this.